summer, who knows? Uh, we get in there and get to know each other. I can still sing the alma mater. I'm 53 years old, and I can still go down the way of saying, standing proudly there before us with your glory all around. The Navy and old gold set forth shall fill us with a love of band. In Meadowbrook, we long to praise your truth and glory in all its ways. Proudly do we hail your name. May it linger in life's hall of fame. Now let me tell you something. That's how many years later? You know, 35. That's how long. I had a kid that went to Cosby, a kid that went to Matoka, but I'm going to tell you one thing right now. On Saturday mornings, when I got up to look at football scores, I didn't look at their scores. I looked at Meadowbrook scores first. Then I went and I looked at the others. Of course, I looked at my scores out there at Grain Hall, too, Clover Hill. But uh, that was on Mondays, all right? Had a chance to coach with Scott, Enon, did some super senior stuff. So now, I am part of the greatest team on earth. That greatest team is being a follower of Jesus Christ. It's that simple for me, you know? You may ask me sometimes, did I go and play college ball somewhere? I was all state, I was all a lot of things. Didn't go. You're gonna ask me that question one day, why not? And I'm gonna tell you why not. Because I made bad decisions, all right? Bad decisions. And sooner or later, that dream was a, was just a memory, is all it was. Luckily, God grabbed hold of me and shook, him, shook me. He said, hey, something's gotta change. Something's gotta change with you. So, anyway, guys, man, I am so looking forward. This is like a dream come true for me. I'm not a guy that wants to come in here and then leave you a few weeks later or next year or two years from now. I'm going to stay here as long as Coach Taylor had me. All right? I want to be somebody that you can come to and say, hey, this is what's going on in life. What do you think, Coach? Believe it or not, even though I'm 53 years old, there's probably very few places that you've been that I haven't been. Grew up in a dysfunctional family. You know, grew up poor, lived in inner city Richmond first, moved to the county later on. Uh, single parent for a long time, stepdad, stepbrothers, half brothers, and even a brother I didn't even know I had, didn't find out I had him until I was 32 years old. So let me tell you something, I've walked, walked a lot of paths. All right? So I can, I can relate to some of you. I hope, no, I hope most of you have been none, through none of that. All right? I'm here to tell you right now, by the grace of God, I can stand here with you guys. And he's brought me back home after all these years. I don't mind saying I like W's as much as anybody. I got a hat in my car out there. Almost wore it out here today. It's got 2004 state champions. And guess what? That zero in front of that four, we're going to put a piece of tape over that. And we're going to put a one in front of it. You hear me? We're going to put a one in front of that. All right? We're going to do it with character. We're going to be transformational. We're going to change lives. We're going to set you up to be successful in life and not to be the kind of kid that I ended up being at 18 or 19 that turned his back on what was important. He wants to keep his own down. Coach Taylor, what he said out there was right on the money. Some of the best athletes, not only in this state, but across the nation, are right here today. Today. Believe in yourself, believe in your coach, anything you got from me. Guys, thank you so much for having me. All right? Pop it up. Bring it in. Let's go. The last call. Sound off loud.